This lesson is part of the TI Inspire CXCAS Technology Student course. In this lesson, we will learn how to solve simultaneous equations using the TI Inspire. To solve simultaneous equations using the TI Inspire, we press menu and then navigate to algebra and then select solve system of equations. We are given two options. The first option will allow us to solve simultaneous equations using any term. For example, we may have a quadratic or, and linear terms in our equations, whereas the second option will only allow us to solve simultaneous equations involving linear terms. We will use the first option. In this pop-up menu, we enter the number of simultaneous equations we'll be working with, and the variables we wish to solve for. We can press tab to navigate between our fields. And when entering in our variables, we need to put in a comma to separate our variables. Once we press OK, we can enter in our first equation, 2x plus 3y, equal to 14. To enter in our second equation, we can press the down arrow on our handheld and enter in 2x minus y equals 6 and press enter. Suppose we wish to solve for three variables. Again, we can press menu and go to algebra and select solve system of equations. And again, the first option. To tell the TI Inspire that we would like three equations with three unknowns, we must enter a three into the first field and then tab down to the next field. The TI Inspire will automatically update with three variables. Suppose instead of x, y, z, we want to solve for a, b, c. We would enter in a, comma, b, comma, c. Again, making sure that we put in a comma in between our variables and press enter. Once again, we enter in our equations. So we may want to solve 3a minus 4b five c equals 10. We press the down arrow on our handheld to go to the next line and enter in our second equation to a plus b minus 3c equal to negative seven. And again, for our third equation, we press down button again, and we'll type in 5a plus b minus 2c equal to negative nine. That's all for this session. Be sure to check out the other videos in this course.